Now at 11, a coach in jail charged with giving a young student some inappropriate adult education. Tonight, detectives trying to determine if there could be even more victims out there. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Brenda McLaughlin. Parents and students tonight telling us they're still in shock over the arrest. ABC Action News reporter Maricela Burgos live tonight outside Freedom High School with details on this case. Maricela. I did speak to one of Dwight Smith's references on the application for this job. He actually moved away from this area, so I broke the news to him. He said he was stunned about what he heard, and I did speak with other people who said the same thing. 47-year-old Dwight Smith went with his track and cross-country team to Gainesville back in September for a meet, and that's when authorities say his trouble with them started. Because of that trip, they claimed Smith kept giving a 17-year-old student alcohol then his room key because he wanted to counsel her and then had sex with her. On another trip, a similar accusation. And then Smith was accused of going to the girl's home and touching her inappropriately in the driveway. It's a shame for the school system in, all, in, in Tampa. One parent told me in an email his daughter, who Smith used to coach, is still in shock at the news and hopes the accusation isn't true. Another former teammate from many years ago emailed me saying she thought he was a respectful man, quote, even though he did joke around with students here and then. Only for one I can judge all the school for one teacher. This isn't the first time a Freedom High School teacher has been in trouble. Years ago, Dwight Ellick, who briefly played for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, was charged with unlawful sex act of a minor. From that case, Ellick was accused of a sexual relationship with a 16-year-old student off campus. Smith is charged with two counts of sexual battery. Offender is the custodian. Victim is between 12 and 18 years old. Smith was also a classroom assistant here at the high school. Uh, when this investigation started a few weeks ago, Smith was fired and he was affiliated here with this high school since 2009. Reporting live, Maricela Burgos, ABC Action News.